In this video we want to talk a little bit about a few of the more common questions or issues that come up from time to time and a few tips or tricks to help the assembly go smoothly. The first tip or requirement is to always start with a solid level surface. If the base of the safe is even slightly uneven it can create problems assembling or with components not being aligned properly. For the purpose of this video we will be using an unfinished safe from our shop floor. The heart of the assembly process involves the interconnecting tubes and pins. By design there is only 5 thousandths clearance between the inner diameter of the tube and the outer diameter of the pins. This is to ensure the six components fit tightly together. It should be noted that every safe that leaves our facility has been pre-assembled and disassembled to ensure that everything fits properly. The only tool required for assembling is a hammer. However, we have found that many of our customers find it a little easier to also use a short piece of pipe or electrical conduit to aid in driving the pins in. We will demonstrate an example of this later in the video. If the tubes of the mating parts do not line up perfectly, do not worry. That is not a problem. Once all the pins are driven in, your safe will be perfectly aligned and extremely strong and secure. The ends of the pins are chamfered so as they pass through one tube and into the next they will align the mating pieces perfectly. We have purposely selected a section for this video that does not line up properly so that you can see how things work. A metal hammer is always preferred and don't worry about hitting the pins too hard. Hit them as hard as required to seat them in place. The last pin or two during assembly can sometimes be the hardest to set. They will go in. In extreme cases we've had customers increase the chamfer on the ends of the pins by grinding them slightly. This is okay to do if you have access to a grinding tool and if not and you feel necessary we are always happy to provide you a couple. One final tip. When hanging the door always do so with the door completely open at 180 degrees. The reason for this is if the door is perpendicular to the safe when trying to hang it, it is easier to bump the top corner and scratch the paint on the door and or the safe. 